So Dan, I want to touch on the human side and sales. Really brief story. I was on a plane once coming out of Baltimore, going to Nashville, and I just had a I had a stomach issue. I'm like in and out of the bathroom. I literally held up the plane for probably 10 minutes because I couldn't get in my seat. And I felt embarrassed. It was awkward for me, the whole thing. And the the, the store just, just shut the whole thing down and made it just looked right at me and said, hey, we're all human. It's all good. You're fine. And it just made me relax and realize, hey, it's okay. And we all kind of deal with this in awkward times. Talk about that human factor in sales and some of the ways to separate your approach with that. In sales and in life, I think we need a, a spine of steel. Yeah. wrapped in a velvet of human kindness. And I think at the end of the day, it's realizing not everyone is having a great day all the time. Right. And sometimes we don't either. And, and sometimes we make mistakes. We miss calls. We don't return emails. Yeah. And, and just giving people the benefit of the doubt and, yeah. and allow that to be kind, but firm, right? If someone says, yes. I get that. But I, I think at the end of the day, it's, it's the person who's being mean to you today may be going through something you have no idea about. Yeah. And don't take it personally. Just kind of like water off a duck's back. Let it go and, and just move on. Yeah, for the longest time in sales, kindness was viewed as a weakness. And I think it's nice. It's kind of shifting. But you got to stay firm. You definitely have to stay firm. And I would view kindness in sales as a form of strength. Yep. As long as you're not being walked over. There we go. See you again tomorrow. Have fun.